Okay, so I told you guys I would give you another video on adding and subtracting polynomials. Here is, here is example one. Example one says 5x squared minus 3x plus 7x plus 9x squared plus 2x squared plus 7x. You are adding two polynomials. You can choose to put it vertically or horizontally. So lining them up as 5x squared plus 9x squared plus 2x squared minus 3x plus 7x plus 7x. Now they're the like terms are next to each other. Um, these are like terms because they're the same variable raised to the same power. These are like terms because they are the same variable raised to the same power. So that's 14, that's 16x squared plus 14 plus 11x is your final answer. The reason why you can combine these is because they are the same variable raised to the same power. Here is example two. Example two is y cubed minus 4y squared minus 2 minus 6y cubed plus 4 minus 6y squared. This one is different because you have a minus sign, so you have to distribute this to all the terms that are contained in the parentheses that follow after it. That would result in negative 6y cubed minus 4y plus 6y squared. You just bring down the first one and you combine anything that has the same variable raised to the same power. Some of you would benefit by writing this vertically. Some of you would benefit by rewriting it. So you could do y cubed minus 6y cubed minus 4y squared plus 6y squared minus 2 minus 4. Like terms because they're the same variable raised to the same power and that results in 1 minus 6 which is a negative 5y cubed plus 2y squared minus 6. Remember you can combine like terms because of the distributive property. They have a common factor. Hope this helps you guys.